We'll give everyone just a minute to pop on here on Sunday night. We're going to use the stitch triangle dies. I like these dies a lot. Um, I like, hi Glenda, I like that they're geometric. Hi Judith. Hi Paula. Good evening everyone. Good evening Connie. Doing good, doing well. Hi Susan. Hope everyone is doing well. I've been extremely busy in this craft room. So I've been very happy to say that everything is mailed out. Everything went in the mailbox yesterday. So I was really thrilled about that. So hi, Linda. Um, we'll wait for a few more to pop on. Hi, Gloria. Nice to see everyone. Fall is nipping in the air here. Hi, Joan. Hi, Shannon. Hey, Lily. Hi, Carol. Oh, that's nice that your husband's doing the dishes. That's nice. <laughs> that's great. So yesterday, my daughter and I went to um, Hobby Lobby, okay? Masks on and everything. I was like, we have got to get out of this house. Hi, Jane. Um, so we did a little bit of running around, went out and ate, went to Sam's, and then wound up always at Hobby Lobby, right? So, hi, Diana. Um, when we went in there, I noticed that they had a bunch of stuff out from last year. Like they had the truck and the tree and they had, they just had a lot of stuff out from, um, last year. Hi Lynn. And, um, but the new stuff had, I mean, they had Christmas trees. Hurry up fall <laughs> 91 there. It was warmer today. Now it's going to rain now tonight. So, um, but they had everything. Hi Laura in this black and white check. This buffalo check was everywhere. I hardly ever do the dish. Oh, wow, we've been married 39 years. Oh, wow. And you hardly ever do the dishes. Well, that's very nice of him. That is really nice. Um, so yes, this black and white buffalo check was everywhere. That's what started me off with this card. Because I thought, well, what could I do? So I started looking at things and, you know, this and that. And I don't know. I just came in here last night. Hi, Jeanette. And uh, started messing around. Hi, Janie. Yay. Happy anniversary, right, to them? Yes. So um, I came up with this. This just, I happened upon this because I was just seriously playing with these two dies. Right here from the... Um, Stitch triangle dies right here. Hi, Mary. So um, that's what we're gonna use. Now, I have got to say, while everybody's on here, I was hoping for 20 orders last month, and um, or this month, okay? And so far, I've gotten 21. These are 21 new orders. They are first time um, orders for the month. They're not first time, you know, people, um, but they are first time, you know, like a lot of people order from me two, three times a month. Okay, but um, these, I definitely had 21 first time, you know, orders for last month. And I even have to go ahead and order a thing of snowflakes. So snowflake sequins. I was so happy about that. So what I'm going to do this month for the month of September is these little jingle bells right here. So if you order $35 in product from me, that's before shipping, handling, and taxes, I'm going to send you, it'll come in a little disc, um, a pack of these Jingle Bells. You get 24 of them, eight each of three colors. So you get the gold, the green, and the red. They were a big fave, returning fave right here, and I thought that everyone will love to get that if they place a $35 order from me, with me. Okay, so that is wonderful. Now, let's talk about uh, whose anniversary mine is today. Oh, you're married 38 years? Congratulations, Susan. That's very nice. 
Um, I think Carol. I think it was Carol. So I put together a giveaway and I kind of made a mini little paper pumpkin thing. I've got little embellishments in here with stars. There's enough stars to do three on each card. I had one bag left. I put um, three card bases along with three of the pretty envelopes, one of each, okay, in this giveaway, just like that, okay, so that you can craft. So that is this giveaway for tonight. Let's go ahead and choose one. And the way that you get entered into the, um, into the, um, hi Esther, into the giveaway is just make a comment on on this even if we're off of here you just make a comment everybody's having anniversaries that's wonderful you just make a comment even just hello i get your name and then i write it down and let's see who we have lily reed lily reed there you go this i will send you this lily okay little paper pumpkin pack that i made up hi carrie yeah that's all you have to do is just make a little comment and um, then the next week I put your name in the little bucket and then I pull it out and that's what we do. And they're not really, you know, they're not huge giveaways. Um, it's to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you spending your uh, Sunday evenings with me. Oh, another, um, another, another, another thing. I will not be on here Tuesday. I have jury duty and it's not here. It's my YouTube. I will not be doing YouTube on Tuesday. I have jury duty, okay? So um, I'm just going to take that off, and I will be live on Wednesday on um, Facebook here, okay? So we'll just do it like that, because I don't know this time how long this is going to be um, on Tuesday. So we'll see what goes on there. Okay. I know, I have so many anniversaries. That's amazing. Okay, so what I did... Um, I wanted to show you guys how, um, oh, how nice, oh, 32, oh my gosh, that's, wow. Um, I wanted to show you guys, like, how I use the same patterning, but then, just with changing a sentiment and changing the color, I got a completely different look in the card. Okay, so like I said, we went to Hobby Lobby, and the black and white, I was like so inspired by this black and white, I just loved it. And this is what I did on the inside. I thought those feathers look great in black, right? I thought that feather on there looked great. Now with this, I used, um, let me get, I have everything out here that I used. Tasteful touches I used on this one. And I use this as the Tasteful Label dies on all of it right there, along with this. This is a Tasteful Label die, the little flag. But I hooked them together underneath here, just butted them together, and we got a nice embellishment out of that, right? Yeah, it does look 3D. It almost looks like you're looking down into it. Um, and honest, guys, I stumbled upon doing this just for playing. I was just literally in here playing because I had everything done. I put the, my new desk together. I absolutely love it. I put um, every, you know, I rearranged things and blah, blah, blah. And I just wanted to get in here and play. Seriously, I was up until 3.30 in the morning playing because I got a new desk. And so I was just in here just playing with stuff. I wanted to get used to using my area. It is a little bit smaller, but I like it. Um, so um, everything fit really nicely. And then I got to move some stuff out of here and it really, really helped. But anyway, so I was just having fun in here last night. So here it is in black and white. And then this is that brushed metallic, okay? Um, uh, this is a really old mat and um, I needed a small one. So where I ruined the other one, when we were at Hobby Lobby, I went to go purchase a mat and they didn't have any. And so that worked in my favor because it would have been too big. I needed a small, this was a small one that I, I've had this one probably for 20 years. So <clears throat> that's that. <laughs> so now here is what I did. It is the exact same measurements, but then I went ahead and I used the um, flowers for every season paper. Okay, and with that, I used Peaceful Moments and Peaceful Poppies because I wanted the happy birthday. Because of the, um, 
this from Tasteful Labels, the way that it is, I needed sentiment that's stacked on top of each other, like this stacks, happy birthday, right? This stacks on top of each other. Oh, that's nice. And the card with the bow set so much more. Oh, thank you, Patty. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you received everything. So, um, so anyway, so here's the birthday and just a completely different look. Okay. Just by using a different stamp set and different paper, totally different look, same card. Okay. So that's when I came up with, let me go ahead and make a Christmas card because I absolutely loved this paper in the um, uh, Flowers for Every Season. That's what this is. And I thought these poinsettias were just so beautiful. I'm going to use these little gold gems here, the wonderful gems, when we get all of this ready to go. So, um, triangle stitched. Here I'm gonna use a little bit of the uh, poinsettias. Gonna try doing something with that. Um, and so let's go ahead. And let's see, what should we do first? I'm going to stamp right here. Let's get, well, okay, let's go over measurements. Let's do that. My card base is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna open it like a book, scored at four and a quarter. My inside pieces are just jade at five by three and three quarter and regular whisper white at four and three quarter by three and a half. My outside piece is just jade at five and a quarter by four. Those are all the measurements, for seriously, that you need. This comes out of the tasteful labels. Let's go ahead and start to stamp. So let me get my mat. We'll need a little foam here, okay, because we're on photopolymer stamps. And then we'll use a big shot. Okay, so here, like I said, we need things that stack on top of each other. So on the outside, we're going to do Happy Holidays. And this comes from... Right here, the point set of petals. Happy holidays right there. And I'm gonna put Merry Christmas in the inside. So let's go ahead and open our Poppy Parade. Let me move this paper to the side, over on that side, and I'll put my ink over here. And I'm using Bumblebee in just a little bit. So happy holidays in Poppy Parade right here. Beautiful. Okay. Then, um, let's open these. I haven't even opened these yet. I have not even played with them. I definitely want to do some, see how these are like, they've got like flecks of gold in it. I thought that that would pick up the gold on the outside. So I'm going to set this to the side and let's go ahead and bring the inside of the card here. And we're going to stamp across the middle, Merry Christmas in Poppy Parade. Right there. Cute. The inside is, is completely monochromatic. It's all Poppy Parade. A little piece of scrap paper here. And I've never done this flower like this, but we're gonna try it, this poinsettia. So here's one of the poinsettias. I believe it's about the smallest one. And I'm gonna stamp it right here, kind of, I, I want the whole thing really on there, I really do. Do I want the whole thing, is that too much? Yeah, I want the whole thing. <laughs> How wrong could we be if we put the whole thing? Well, I got a little point right there. Okay, so then right here on this stamp set, I kind of felt like this needed to go inside of here. Okay, like a double stamping thing. So into the poppy parade, and I am just going to come down on that like this. And it really makes that poinsettia look great. A little bumblebee in the middle with our dots there. And it really, I love it. I just love it. Okay, now I'm gonna do that again up here. I want just, I want the inside of this card just really happy with the poinsettia. Oh, so pretty. And then here's this. That just gives it such dimension, such dimension when you do that. And there we go. Oh, so pretty. 
that is just happy that i'm very very happy inside of the card now i want all of this red on my just jade and where you've got the little bit of bumblebee it just pulls it all together i absolutely love it so let me get a little bit of glue going here and then we're going to work on the outside of the card making all those little geometric shapes we're going to use the stamparatus i thought we'd get this part done i knew i got into that poppy parade ink before i touch something and make a disaster i could feel it i was like i know my knuckle went in there so let's try to get this on here straight there we go so pretty oh i just love that just jade i like that color Okay, I want to put this now inside the card. This way then the inside is finished because we've got work to do on the outside. Just like that. Here's the base. And this time we're going to open it just like a book. Just scooch that over. There we go. Just like that. Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, love the inside of the card. Yes, I love to decorate the inside. I want Whenever anybody opens a card for me, I want them to be like, whoa, who did all that? <laughs> okay, now we can go ahead and put our um, Just Jade piece on here. And again, it's five and a quarter by four. Where'd my cards go so that I can do a little copycat, right? I just got to look at them. Here they are. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Now, I want to talk to you guys about this embellishment that I made with my, with the tasteful. Oh, watch the replay. You can always watch the replay. Always. We really are just getting started. Look, we, it, we decorated the inside of the card. And of course, you could use anything you want. And I was just trying to show that with one one design i did it in black and white i did it in the um, flowers for every season and then this is the same design flowers for every season but we're going to make a christmas card out of this one um <clears throat> these little poppies not poppies these poinsettias from the poppy parade thank you joan i cut these out from the poppy parade okay from the um, poinsettia dies there's um this, I love this little poinsettia. So we'll put that together shortly. Now, the, this is from the Tasteful Labels dies, and you get one. So I wanted a flag. So when I, I just kind of butted these up against each other behind my embellishment here, and that's how I got that, and it's perfect. Hi, Lily. I have been reading your story, Lily. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so... <clears throat> let's go ahead and bring in the apparatus the stamparatus apparatus <laughs> and we're going to take a piece of whisper white this is let's see what, what is this i thought it was about four and a half yeah it's about uh, four and three quarter by four and three quarter okay i'm going to put it down in the corner here and i'm going to put my magnets and then I already have my triangle mounted there, okay? I've already got it mounted. Let me go ahead and put my pin in my glue. I've learned to do that, okay. So there, I've got that mounted there. And we're gonna close this and then I'm gonna turn it and use the other side. <clears throat> Crafting while watching, I was in the bath. Conditioner in my hair. Oh, how funny, Lily. Ah, yes, Lily, God is very good, yes. And shaving my legs <laughs> my name oh. oh how funny lily oh my goodness okay so i'm going to put a stamp set underneath this because i like it to be um stable okay and this i'm going to do in let's see i did that in black i did that in that should i do it in just jade instead of poppy parade yes we're going to do it in just jade because i want it to be i want it to match my outside um cardstock okay 
So I'm just turning that upside down, ink up my triangle here, and close my door. Whoop, I already see I don't have enough ink over here. Okay, let me close my door. Okay, there we go. Oh, that one, that actually came out quite well. Okay, don't need to stamp that again. I'm going to just turn it and I'm gonna put my magnets back on here. And I'm gonna ink this up again. Ooh, I got a little ink right there with my finger. I think we'll be okay. If not, we could always do side two. Thank you, Karen. I had to catch up on my comments. Okay, so here we go here. Ooh, we don't wanna push that down. Look at what a mess that would make, right? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna just ink that up. Let's see, I don't. I definitely don't like that over there. Take my chamois, I wanna wash that off really quick because I can cause a disaster. Okay, I'm just gonna close the door again, see if I just <clears throat> get a better image. And yes, I did, I don't need to add any more ink there. That's for sure. Okay, let's close that up. Let's remove this from the Stamparatus. We'll put this aside and I'll clean that later. All right, now, let's go ahead and bring the Big Shot in. And it's not the Big Shot, it's the Stampin' Up die cutting and embossing machine. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to cut with dies. So I look on my sandwich here of what it tells me and I have my one plate, my two plate, and two threes. So here's my one, my two, and a three, and then I'm gonna put my um, die down with my project. I'll put my project and then my die on top of it, like this. Now, when you cut out with the, the triangle, it does not leave a white border, okay? So right there. I love the way that this right here holds me in there. Okay, so I don't get a little cattywampus with it. And now I'm gonna just roll this through. Wonderful. Yes, these do not have a, um, a border, see? And they're stitched, oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, let's leave that just like that. Now let's go ahead and cut this one out. Right here. I seriously, while I'm doing this, I wanna thank everyone for supporting me, my YouTube channel, this channel, my orders, my paper pumpkin people, my team. I cannot, I have, I mean, I am just amazed, thrilled, and having the time of my life being retired and doing this. So that's just, that's just it. There's nothing more to say. I am seriously having the time of my life doing this. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this piece that we just cut out, we're gonna take the smaller triangle and we're going to fit it right here. Okay, just like this. Thank you, Donna. Kinda watch your, sh watch your spacing, okay? So right there. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna just cut that inside triangle out. And honest, guys, this was me. At, it had to be like 1 o'clock in the morning, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning when I started doing this. And I was just playing with the set. But then I was like, hey, wait, I like this. Okay, so we've got this, okay? And look at how I, it just looks so cool, okay? Let's put that aside. And then we'll put this one aside. And we'll get the other one back and do the same thing to this one. So let's go ahead and put our little triangle in about the plates. Oh, yes, the plates. No. Um, I, I was scared to death because it was so tight. And um, it does fit the 3D embossing folder. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. When I, Let me roll this through. It is quite tight. It's loosening up a little bit, though, the more I use it. Um, <clears throat> so what Laura's talking about is when I got this machine, um, it was very, very tight. Okay, so we have two of these, okay? And then we have two of these. So what she's talking about is these 
embossing folders that say Sizzix on it, okay? Um, what you do is you take everything out, take this embossing folder, put your paper in it, and a clear plate. Now, I was, I was of course, you know, trying to push mine through, and it is tight. But it's better, it's a lot better now, though, because they were on the phone with me, and they were like, go ahead, if it breaks, we'll send you a new one, because I was scared that I had, like, way too much pressure on it. But the more I'm using it, the more that um, it's loosening, and it really does emboss quite well. So if you have the ones that say Sizzix on it, that's the sandwich that you need, just a different sandwich. If you have the ones that are, like, okay, like this is a 3D, but it just says Stampin' Up, okay? Um, then you need, then you follow the directions here and you use that gray plate. You use a one, your embossing folder, because it doesn't say Sizzix on it, and you use your four plate, okay? That's how you do that. If it doesn't say Sizzix on it, a lot of mine do say Sizzix. Because that, you know, if they still have them, I'm not just going to buy something just because it said Sizzix on it. So that's just me. Okay, now DSP. And we want to use two of these. We want to cut two of these out. Two of this one. Let's see. Wait, I'm missing a plate. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we want to cut two of these out of your DSP. I'm glad you asked me about that, Laura. I totally forgot. I had said something on my um, YouTube, I think, because I called them directly the next day on a, on a Monday. And then I think, but I totally forgot to say something about it here. So here we have this, and it's stitched. Ooh, I love it when they're stitched. And then we're going to cut another one right here. I just do it like that so that I save paper. That's all. Okay. And there we go here. Sorry about the little rocking. Okay. Here we go. Now we have all of our pieces ready to go. Let's move all this out of the way. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, now we're going to bring our card base in. And we have all of these wonderful pieces. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to take this piece and put, we're going to put one here and we're going to leave like a border. Then we're going to put in the DSP, not the striped one that you cut out. Okay. The DSP goes over here. I had a problem this week. I did to get it done. They're all, yes, they are. Seriously, Janie, they are so ready to help. They were so good. I told them, I said, I'm scared. And they said, go into the craft room <laughs> and go ahead and roll it through while we're on the phone. They were really, kind, they were so sweet. Uh, and I was like, I have a new machine. I don't want to break it. So yes. Okay. Then that's going to overlap. Don't worry about what it looks like in the middle here. And then this is going to go here. Okay. Because it's like putting a puzzle together. Okay. And then these are going to come one on the top and then one on the bottom. Okay. That's how easy that this is. Just by me messing around and cutting out the inside of this. Because I was like, oh, okay, wait, I didn't want it that big. I'll just, I thought I wanted a smaller triangle. So I cut out, hey, Vicky. <clears throat> so I cut the triangle out thinking, well, I'll use this to do something with. And I fell in love with then this piece. And that's how that all went on. And so here's a little glue. Here we go. Okay, now we want to leave our um, nice little border, top, bottom, and side, just like that. Now we're gonna put our piece that is the DSP that we cut out. I happen to love that brown stripe on the back of that. I really like that. And now we're going to place this in here. And it just gives that triangle just the pizzazz it needs. It almost reminds, I know, it looks like a lot more pieces, but seriously, it's not. Thank you, Connie. I hope that you will, um, you know, if you do get this set, um, maybe you'll try this card. But um, 
yeah, it, this looks a lot more complicated because guys really, okay, I'm not complicated. Um, I, sometimes I try to do complicated things on here and I know that they don't turn out and I'm like, well, I shouldn't have done that. So, <laughs> okay, just a little glue there. And now we're going to turn that over nicely. And again, we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Just like that. And then we're going to put this in here. Now, I would think that you could even do this, okay, like if you had squares, right? Couldn't you cut a smaller one out and make, you know, like, and then cut it in half, you can make a triangle. If you had the squares, you know, something like that. I think that um, there's a, you know, by cutting the inside out with a smaller piece. So I think that there's a lot of sets. Now we're gonna use these that we cut out because why should we waste anything? And we're going to add these here, top and bottom, and leave your spacing. That is seriously what makes this look, I know, right? <laughs> that is seriously what makes this look like there's more to it than what there really is. Oh, thank you. I love it when you guys try what I do. I really, it, it, it thrills me to no end. You know, like I said, you could even try this, you know, with, um, with squares. Okay, now we're going to put this one up here. And we're just, again, I'm going to leave that little bit of spacing with this. Just like we're putting a puzzle together. But it's almost like, um, you know that kind of a stamp that you do and then you lift it off and you have like, um, I've done it with other, other um, pieces of solid cardstock behind it. It's almost like you don't, I don't know, it puts it together or you don't see it or something like, I don't know how to say it. Okay, now these two that I've already cut out of the Tasteful Labels dies, this is one die, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna make it a bigger die. So we're gonna put this one down, and I'm just gonna kind of use this one as a guide because see, I wanna stay in the middle here. And I'm just gonna use that just to hold it. Good. And now we know exactly where to put the second piece. Here we go. Now see, first of all, that covers all of that up, but you would have covered it up anyway with Happy Holidays. Now we're gonna bring in our little Happy Holidays that we had stamped and put some dimensionals on this. I am gonna put a few on here only because it really has to kinda do its work for us, right? Put four on there is fine. I wouldn't put one in the middle, we're thick here. You might get like a little um, hump if you put it one in the middle. So two on the top, two on the bottom, and then right here. Now that's pretty, but we need more stuff, okay? This is why I cut out these um, poinsettias. So we're going to put them together with a glue dot right here. It almost to me looks like you're looking down a hall, especially the black one. Okay, right? It look to me it looks like it's like going down into a hallway or something like that. I don't. Okay. Now this we just alternate our petals like so. Now I want to pick up some of this gold right there. That's why I decided to use instead, because normally I would put a pearl. Oh, thank you, Janie. Normally I would put a pearl, but I want to pick up this gold. So I got these wonderful gems. Let's go ahead and put a dimensional on here. Ooh, that's too big. We need a mini. We need a mini. There we go. They're always right at hand. Flip that over. Put that one there. All right. <clears throat> I want to put one up here. And I put it off like where this little notch is. Oh, thank you, Vicki. See where the little notch is? If you put the dimensional on top here, it's way too raised up. Right where the notch is, just nestle in your dimensional. 
Okay. Oh, thank you, Gloria. And now let's go ahead and see. I have no idea. Yes. Oh, definitely. Oh, no, this brought it right together. Oh, I love that. Oh, it even picks up a little bit of the red of the poppy parade underneath there. Oh, that is so... Oh, how cute. Okay, came out cuter than I even thought because, see, I hadn't made one of these yet. Hadn't made a Christmas card. Have to make... Oh, thank you so much, Jeanette. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I just have... I have so much fun in this craft room. Um, whenever I'm just like, oh, wait, what should I do with myself? Just go in here and create. And here we go. Um, I just, this came out gorgeous. I didn't know how this one was going to come out. Oh, we've got to do an envelope, don't we? Ooh, what should we do on that? Hmm. Oh my goodness. That, these poinsettias with the gold. I love this. I, this was so much fun. Um, let's see. We will do, let's do poinsettia. Why not, right? Let's just do the poinsettia. Do it on the envelope. I'm doing the whole thing. Oh, you're so sweet, Jeanette. <laughs> Honest, this was, this right here, I stumbled on it. I, I was just, um, it was late. I was playing and um, possibly somewhat delirious, you know? So, <laughs> thank you, Sue. Thank you, Joan. So there's that. Now we'll put our little... Um, cause I never stay up that late, but I, what happened was Jamie and I went to the mad Greek and, um, they have my favorite dessert is a cannoli. Okay. Which in Italian, uh, it would, we would call it cannoli. The C is a G in Italian. Okay. So, oh, thank you, Helen. So they had cannoli. So of course I had to have one and then I had coffee and it was like four o'clock. Okay, and she's like, decaf? I'm like, no, I don't need the decaf. <laughs> yeah, so hence, I'm up at three th until 3.30 in the morning playing in this craft room. I'm thinking possibly it was the coffee, you know, but then again, I put the desk together, and, you know, I don't know, once you st I start doing stuff, I'm like, okay, let me do this, let me do that, let me clean this up, let me do that, and then, yeah, all of a sudden, hours go by. So here we go. Oh, my goodness. You, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I do. I mean, zing. I know, Lynn, right? It was like possibly for me way entirely too much caffeine. Okay. Yes. And that's why. But hey, you get too much caffeine and then you get this. I'm, I'm like, okay, that's good, right? It's <laughs> a way to be, have your creative energy going. And yeah. So here, we went from black and white, that's how I started, same design, to a happy birthday, and I added the little banner that came with the, um, the triangles, and then we did a, this is my favorite, this, hot, this Christmas one is my favorite because I love these. Actually, I'm thinking this needs a little something something. It needs a little something. It needs, it maybe littles. It's too white right there. It's too, too much. Oh, you're so sweet, Jeanette. That, we have so much fun, don't we? Oh, my goodness. See, now when I do my team videos, I talk to them like they're right in the room with me. Um, it, oh, thank you, Connie. And designing this. Yes, thanks. <laughs> I know, right? If I ever get non-motivated. Oh, my goodness. I called three and read my book till 4.30 some night. I know, right? I always thank you so much. I know sometimes it's just what it is, right? So let's see. This needs a little something. I don't know what, but I want to do not there. Here, here. I don't want to go like that. How am I going to do this? All right, let's go here. I want to use the smaller ones, okay? And then we'll bring that one there. Oh, yeah. That one doesn't have much gold in it. Okay, let's get another one that has a little bit more gold in it. Okay, right there. Okay, good. So that would be three, four, then let's put one right here, five. Okay, okay, I'm happier with that. Okay, just need a little something more on it. Not enough. That, but that, this is my fave, I have to admit. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do. I have insomnia in the middle of the night for, I don't know why. But yeah. Oh, thank you. 
A beautiful card. Thank you, thank you. Sugar Ruff from the cannoli. Yeah, from the cannolis. I know, right? And the, and the, between the sugar rush, rush from that <clears throat> and the caffeine, I mean, I was even thinking at 3.30, why go to bed? Should I just start to clean the house? You know, so yeah, that's not normal. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Lily. Thank you. So here we go. I mean, I'm just like, wow, cute, right? Same, same patterning, just using different paper. That's all. It's the same, the same cut, the same everything. Just using a little bit of different paper. We got three beautiful cards right here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I sure do appreciate you guys being with me this evening. And um, I will definitely be back next Sunday at 7. Remember, no YouTube Live on Tuesday. I have jury duty. So um, that is important to do. So I will be doing that. Um, and that is Tuesday. So no Tuesday Live on YouTube. But I will be back on Wednesday Live here on Facebook. So I'll see you guys then. Please be safe. Have a wonderful week. Please. Thank you, Shannon. I hope that you guys can do some happy crafting and have fun with it. And um, if you have this set or maybe another set. Yes, this I agree. I agree, Carol. I so agree. You, <laughs> the live is a highlight of your site. That's so sweet. Good luck with you. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Yep. I've already been for one session. This is the second session. And then I have one in November at the beginning of November. And then I'm done. So that's okay. I do my civic duty. Thank you very much, Barbara. I appreciate it. Thanks, Laura. I hope you're doing okay, Laura. Laura broke her arm. So she is on the mend now, hopefully. Hopefully. We cross our fingers that you're on the mend now, right? Okay, guys. Please have a wonderful week. Um, again, stay safe. And go to your craft room and do some happy crafting. Thanks again for watching.